Good morning, everyone. Uh, first, thank you for having me. Um, I pray you and your family are staying safe during this unprecedented time. Um, I'll go ahead and get into it. I've uh, sort of wrote me a little script so I can stick to Travis's timeline so I don't get off subject and start rambling on. Um, so when the news came about the restaurants being drive through or takeout only, we knew we had to do something. And we started that very day and decided we was going to shut down our office early and take our entire staff out to a dinner. We wanted to get together one last time to motivate everybody and let everybody know that we're still there as a team. But we also wanted to support a local restaurant. And, and as we sat there, you know, the more we sat there and thought, we thought about those waiters and waitresses and what they would do during this time. We knew it was going to be really tough on them and the business owners. So I'm going to start by sharing an article we wrote recently, which shares a little bit about what we've been doing and our hope that other businesses would join in during this unprecedented time. It's titled Red, White, and Blue. I don't know if you guys seen it. Uh, we, it was in the Mount Airy News. It was a couple weeks ago, but here it goes. Uh, Red, White, and Blue. Nothing describes Americans better than the word heart. The heart to fight, the heart to win, and the heart to care about others. Heart is not just a word. It is truly born and bred in all of us. And we at Carport Central want all our local businesses to know we are with you in heart and prayers. We will be ordering lunches daily from local businesses, but more importantly, we're asking all local companies to join us and do the same. We're also ded dedicating ourselves to shop local. These are not just shops and businesses. These are our families and friends. They need our support. You can't find a local business that doesn't give to our community year round. They help with fundraisers, benefits, donations, civic events, and most of all, our children's programs. Now is the time for us all to shop local. Carport Central asks all local companies to join us in support of local businesses. Let's all join together and invest in our town, our community, and show that we are Community Central. Some of the things we have done lately, our lunch program, as I just mentioned, we really use the power of social media and our marketing to spread the message. We tried posting in the morning what restaurant we'd be going to. Then after lunch, posting the videos showcasing those restaurants and pictures. Little did most people know, Carport Central was going to one location and then another one of our companies was going to another. And then we would try to post both each day. Last week, with just Carport Central alone, we had over 100 meals we purchased from local restaurants, not counting the other company. We also decided to get our families together and bring our kids out to plant box gardens with fruits and vegetables. I remember as a kid helping my dad in his garden, and my daughter, along with most kids these days, have never experienced that. I remember those good meals from fresh vegetables and fruits in the garden. Boy, they were delicious. So we decided we would get our families outside and take our minds off the fear and worry of this virus and get back to the basics. At Carport Central, we have tried to keep our team uplifted and our community. We were not oblivious to the coronavirus, but we did not want it to consume us. We have tried to maintain the camaraderie and team atmosphere that we are in this together and we are going to get through this together. We knew we still had to take care of our families and our community needed to take care of theirs. When our staff tried to panic and quit on us early, we managers and owners worked even harder. We thought about others and what we could do to help. So we really grabbed onto this quote by Fred Rogers. When I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. And this is truly something we always talk about at Carport Central, helping people. So that is what we have focused our energy on during this time in hopes it would spark other individuals and businesses to do the same. And I believe in some small way we have. It has also helped keep our guys and ladies' minds off of the coronavirus and stick to sticking to work and doing our business at Carport Central, which has kept us going in ways that I just couldn't believe in this time. We are so grateful and blessed with what we've been able to accomplish these last few weeks. In closing, I find this most fitting of all. I won't preach to you this morning, but I would like to share this with you. 
Jesus taught us to help others. He says to esteem others better than ourselves and to love our neighbors. I try to model my life after Jesus. Trust me, I'm not even close. But in my opinion, he is the greatest leader of all. And he did so as a servant. He was always serving others, even until his last breath. Even if you are not a believer, those are good words to live by. And I think it's good for this time we're in right now. Thank you and God bless.